Hey, it's GFoxCat here, and happy Halloween! I'm going to be doing a short little cosplay video for you guys, and so enjoy! Now, this is the sweatshirt that I got for Batgirl costume. I got it at Goodwill for $5.99. Can't beat that. The whole six bucks. So, what I'm going to do here, um, right here, in between these, are kind of funky, but to be honest, it looks like a very fashionable um, jacket that Batgirl might wear. Right here, I'm going to put her symbol. So, half of it's going to be on this side, half on this side, half on this side, and I'm going to paint it using good old acrylic paint here. All right, these are apple barreled colors um, you can get the large the small bottles bottles and large bottles both at Walmart I believe the small ones are 50 cents and these are like a dollar 25 so not that um, expensive at all and you can get this value pack of brushes here and this value pack of brushes it's a 25 piece set of brushes, various brushes, for $5.99 at Hobby Lobby. Okay, so we are ready to put my symbol on. I've just taken the symbol and blew it up on a regular piece of paper. I only have the symbol. So you can flip it over to the sides. I've got white water soluble pencil I'm going to try to use on it. And underneath, I can get it to zip. I have a piece of cardboard just to kind of protect the back of the jacket and make it a little easier to do things on. So I'm thinking we're going to put it about here, kind of in the middle. This part here is going to be the tricky part. So we get it like right up to the zipper that she has in her. There we go. Part one done. This is probably the worst part about this is trying to figure out how to get it on. And then once you get an outline, once I have my outline, I should say I have my outline and I'm just going to repeat. Okay, so I've got my outline all ready to paint. I'm going to be using Apple Barrel white and yellow to make kind of a yellowy, light yellow color. Um, and as you can tell, you're going to get, well, not that you can see that yet, you could get messy. That's why I've got the paper on the table. You can use um, old tablecloth, old table, whatever. And you want to wear colors that you don't care about because it is permanent. And basically, you either come, find a brush you like, you can use 
stiff brushes here like this. This is what I use for dry brushing my dragons and whatnot with. Or you can use soft brushes. It just depends on what you like. I probably use a small brush here to outline. See how well that goes. And then go from there and filling it in. And this could take a while. So you slow and steady. Have lots of time. Music, television, whatever you want going. And... All right, after laying paint down on this, three glorious clothes, and several hours later, because it took forever to dry, I have my bath symbol all cleaned up, and I would say, this looks epically awesome. I can't wait to have my costume finished. Okay, on here, I didn't notice this when I got it, but I did notice it, so that it has the dinky jeans. And silver in here, so I carried a small bat and some I'm just gonna we'll place it over it so it covers it and one for one. I'm just gonna have a bat symbol like a tattoo on my jacket. So I'm just gonna come in, same thing as before. I'm gonna come in and try and trace it with this silly white pencil and color it in and take a few hours to get this beautiful thing on here. I will also probably be using this symbol again um, if I can keep it that long or putting the symbol on my shoes because I think that would look really cool. Alright so <clears throat> now I'm going to get ready to attach my cape to the back of my jacket using velcro. I've got these strips of velcro which I need to cut down into the right shape. So, I'm gonna try and do that. I only need one of them, so I'm just gonna ta da! And ta da! stick them together here. Oh, it's a little easier to cut. And we need it about in right in here. Right. <laughs> Tired doing this at this angle. It and I feel like I need three hands here apparently. Ha! Ta da! We have success. Now, this is sticky stuff, so that's gonna be great. Let me get this cape here. Just gonna line them up here with the sides. Yeah, lined up well here. There we go. There's one. Let's get this line lined up. And sticking should be fairly easy. Move the camera back here. Um move the camera over here so you can see and voila got our nice little cave get it just about where I think I want it right here underneath the hood which you can't even see. Okay, let's move it up. There we go. So this is about where we're going to have it. For our lovely head. And we're just going to lift up. And I'm just going to 
Throw this away and stick it down. Hmm. And do the same here. Stick her down. And in 24 hours, I should have a cape that I can remove and, and take on as I please. And if I ever went out without a cape, the sticky stuff should be okay to figure out how to get off. But there we go. And we also have shoes that I dyed here. These were white canvas shoes that I dyed yellow. Not quite as, as effective as I wanted. But we have yellow shoes since I'm not paying 80 bucks for a pair of yellow Doc Martens like she wears. And there we go. I will see you guys later. Fox catch you later.